the key is engagement. If, if they're not engaged, I don't care what they're doing. It just doesn't make any difference. But I think the key to engagement is to tie numeracy and literacy and academics to things that matter to them. And there are plenty of ways to do that that we typically ignore. I find I, I deal with kids all the time who, quote unquote, don't like to write. Until I say we're not writing a report, we're writing a media script. And then yeah, I can't stop them, off they go. And obviously the issue here is not cognitive or they would not be able to write in either situation. The issue here is purely inspirational and attitudinal. The smart teacher in this day and age says to himself or herself, okay, I have an assignment. What is the best way for my students to pursue that? So today we're gonna do some um, math and we're gonna do it in a little bit of a different way. What we used today was a traditional hand game, um, a very simple, uh, on the surface a simple game of um, strategy and entertainment and we took that context and, and looked at where is the math in this. The chance is, you know, where is, is the rock hidden in your fist? It's a very simple game. What is, what is the probabilities of those outcomes happening? So it quite easily translated into numeracy or into probability. We were learning mainly about probability and sort of different, like for example, like theoretical probability is what should happen. Like if you flip a coin 10 times, should land five times on the he heads and five times on tails. But that doesn't always happen. So then the experimental probability is what does happen and we are sort of doing fun traditional games to learn about that and compare it. Math isn't fun when we, all we ever use is a textbook. And it's not about teaching kids about a history lesson. It's about bringing context, you know, real outside life context into the classroom that, that teaches from lots of different relationships. You know, I, I bring in videos that I find cool or, or that kids can connect to, um, you know, lots of different ways we can connect kids from the outside to, to mathematics and figure out relationships there. Today, we're gonna to start a new unit. And the unit, I've kind of titled with this long title, The Physics of the TP and the Rocket Nozzle, which really is the physics of the cone. The, the physics of the TP and the rocket nozzle was a way for me to, in, A, engage the students with two kind of disparate ideas and uh, also to uh, lead into what the point of the unit was, which is really um, to examine uh, physics concepts. I think for a lot of people, it's easier to um, visualize things than to um, look at the textbook and just see numbers. So the, uh, that we could visualize this, it's something I'll never forget. Now I can see the experiment, essentially what we did today in um, in the everyday rest of my life. I, I know that there's a complaint that uh, often what goes on in math classrooms is too detached from basic numeracy. And the students come out and they know how to do certain things, but they can't apply it to their everyday life. You want these students to have a skill set that can apply to all kinds of different situations, not just specific ones. That's why I see that numeracy and those other skills that go along with it can help them solve problems just anywhere in their daily life. Teachers always tell you that you're going to use the stuff that you learn, but it's not very often you get a chance to actually use it, so it was really cool to apply what I know into a real situation, and what I'm learning in school isn't only in the classroom, I'm going to use it for the rest of my life. So math appears in hockey with things like angles when you're shooting, probability, thinking about it doesn't always work out, but you hope that you'll make the right decision using it. So it's always something useful to have when you're playing the sport. I, I look at my job as a math teacher is to get kids excited about math. And so, um, you know, bringing those outside contexts helps kids. They're gonna remember that, but, you know. They, they're not gonna remember those questions in the textbook, but they'll remember the day that we did traditional math games and connected it to the probability. Math is about patterns and relationships and we can see patterns and relationships in our world and with each other. We talk about, you know, from looking at flowers and that Fibonacci sequence and of numbers and how numbers relate to nature and how, isn't it awesome how math relates to everything. 
We keep giving them assignments that don't connect to them personally and wondering why they're not interested. But if we don't give them options to speak in ways that they understand, if we keep that door closed to them, we're never going to know what they really know.